Ever wonder how we got here? Not just geographically, but genetically. This video takes you on an astonishing journey through millions of years, exploring the ancient primates that walked the earth long before us. Discover the surprising twists and turns that ultimately led to the very species watching this video right now. To understand our story, we have to go way, way back around 55 million years ago. Imagine a world freshly recovering from the extinction of the dinosaurs. The air is warm and lush forests blanket much of the planet. It's in this verdant landscape that a small inconspicuous creature, no bigger than a mouse, began our epic family saga. Scientists have recently uncovered new fossil evidence that points to a common ancestor, the one that kicked off the entire primate story. We're talking about tiny, agile animals that spent their lives in the trees. These weren't quite monkeys or apes, but they had a few key adaptations that set them apart. Their grasping hands and feet, for example, allowed them to cling to branches with incredible dexterity. Their forward-facing eyes gave them stereoscopic vision, which is a fancy way of saying they could see in 3D, a huge advantage for judging distances when leaping between branches. From these small, nocturnal creatures, our primate family tree began to branch out, evolving into a diverse array of forms across different continents. They were the pioneers of the canopies, the ancestors of all primates we see today, from the lemurs of Madagascar to the apes in Africa. As millions of years passed, environmental changes and continental shifts led to a great splitting of pathways. Around 40 million years ago, a key evolutionary juncture separated the ancestors of New World monkeys, those found in the Americas, from those that would become Old World monkeys and eventually, the apes. The monkeys largely stayed true to their four-footed, tree-dwelling lifestyle, while the path leading to us took a different turn. Around 25 million years ago, we see the rise of the early apes. These aren't the chimps and gorillas we know today, but their ancestors. What defined them was a brilliant adaptation, enhanced shoulder mobility. Unlike monkeys, their shoulders and arms were built for swinging. This brachiation, the ability to move by swinging from arm to arm, was a game changer. It allowed them to navigate the forest canopy with an unmatched fluidity, setting the stage for a dramatic evolutionary act. And where did this all happen? The most important stage was Africa. Thanks to dramatic climate shifts and geographical isolation, Africa became the crucible for our direct ancestors. Forests began to give way to vast grasslands, creating new pressures and opportunities. About seven million years ago, a pivotal moment occurred. As the African landscape became a patchwork of woodlands and savannas, some of our ancestors were forced to leave the safety of the trees. This environmental pressure favored a new way of moving bipedalism or walking on two legs. This transition wasn't an overnight change. It was a gradual process, but it left behind a powerful legacy in the fossil record. One of the most groundbreaking finds was a fossilized skeleton named Lucy discovered in Ethiopia. Dating back 3.2 million years, Lucy's bones provided irrefutable proof that our ancestors were walking upright long before they had big brains. And those brains? They were on the rise. While Lucy's brain was about the size of a chimp's, later hominins like Homo habilis showed a noticeable increase in cranial capacity. This bump in brain size offered a massive cognitive advantage, leading to the earliest signs of tool use, simple stone flakes used for butchering animals and processing plants. These tools weren't just about survival. They were a form of external memory, a way to pass on knowledge and skills. It was also during this time that we see the first evidence of simple social structures. 
with our bipedal ancestors beginning to form small tribes for mutual protection and cooperation. The story takes another dramatic turn around two million years ago with the emergence of Homo erectus. They were the first of our ancestors to leave Africa, embarking on incredible journeys that would take them across continents and into a new world. They were taller, smarter, and had a larger brain than their predecessors. They were master toolmakers, and crucially, the first to control fire, a technology that changed everything. But they weren't the only ones out there. As they spread across Eurasia, they encountered other hominin species, including the now famous Neanderthals. For a long time, we thought of Neanderthals as a completely separate, brutish species. But the latest genetic evidence tells a different story. It reveals that our ancestors, Homo sapiens, didn't just compete with them, we interbred with them. Many of us today carry small traces of Neanderthal DNA, a tangible echo of a long lost chapter in human history. Homo sapiens eventually came to dominate the world. What set us apart was an explosion of symbolic thought, art, and complex societal structures. We created cave paintings, crafted intricate tools, and developed complex language. This ability to innovate and adapt, more than any physical trait, is what allowed us to thrive in every corner of the globe. Our journey didn't end with the rise of modern humans. Evolution is an ongoing process. Humanity continues to adapt to new environments. Think about how our bodies have adapted to new diets, or how some populations have developed genetic resistance to diseases like malaria. The ancient adaptations of our primate ancestors still shape our biology and behavior today. Our grasping hands, our forward-facing vision, even our love of social connection, these are all legacies of the millions of years of evolution that came before us. As the dominant species on Earth, we face new challenges and ethical frontiers. Our evolutionary journey gives us a unique perspective on our responsibilities to our planet, to other species, and to the future generations of our lineage. We have the power to shape our own future in a way no other species has. So what's the next step in this incredible story? We're living it right now. <laughs>